Hello everyone and welcome to the Cataclysm Repetition Guide. There's not much, but here goes. Alliance Wildhammer Clan and Horde Dragon Maw Clan are both located in Twilight Highlands. In order to be able to get their daily quest, you will need to finish their quest chains. Otherwise, you can buy their top arts once you hit friendly and farm Cataclysm dungeons. Next ones are Baradin's Wardens and Hellscream Reach, both located at Tolbert Peninsula. You gain reputation by doing their dailies. Normally you get to do 6 dailies, but you can do up to 12 dailies if you have one and currently own Tolbarad. If you are lucky with NPCs respawning, you can do a total of 18 dailies in one day. If you manage to get 18 dailies every day, it will take you 10 days, up to 28 if you do only 6 of them daily. You can also speed up your progress by buying commendations at their Quartermaster, but it will cost you 10 Tolbarad tokens and award reputation as one daily quest which isn't really worth since you once don't want business wise. Neutral factions, they're, they're pretty much the same. Massive amount of Guardians of Hydra reputation is awarded upon completing their quests. This will take you easily to revert. Otherwise, you can buy a Tabard and farm Cataclysm dungeons. If you enjoy dailies more, you can start helping Malfurion to build Molten Front, but this is available once you reach level 85. Next one is Ramhaken, located in Uldum. Again, you can easily get revert by simply doing their quest and exalted by running Cataclysm dungeon with their Tabard. I wouldn't recommend dailies though, as they give only 400 reputation daily. Oh god, Jesus, n no! Uh, t t Terrazane is big. Her faction named after her is located in Deepholm. You started hate it, and by doing negotiating quest chain, which should be somewhere, so, somewhere, uh, here you get about halfway honor. After that, you can either buy their tabard and farm cataclysm dungeons, or do their dailies. Uh, uh. The Earthrun ring was like, oh. Enough of dailies, no! So you can earn their reputation by only doing their quest in Vashir or Deepholm, or by buying their Tabard and running Cataclysm dungeons with their Tabard. Five Tabards, uh, I, I know, not fun. Anyway, you will have to start a quest chain for most of this reputation in the main city or say goodbye to quests. Lastly, there are Avengers of Hyjal, a reputation farm within Firelands. Clearing it weekly will take you about 4-6 to six runs, counting one is normal and the rest on heroic. Otherwise, you can farm ads in the beginning of Firelands and reset. You will gain reputation from small mobs until the end of Honored and from big ads until revert. If you have any kind of ability that makes you lose aggro, you can use this on Flame Waker Subjugator, which makes them respawn after you kill them. You have to keep the rest of the mobs alive though. Well, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. When the Cataclysm Time Walking event takes place, you can speed up your progress with buying accommodations for Time Walking badges. Each of them will cost you 50 Time Walking badges, meaning you will need 84 of them to get from neutral to exalted making the total cost to be 4200 time walking badges perfection. Making this the cheapest of them all as you can easily get revert with most of the Cataclysm factions. Not every faction has a commendation available though. You can only buy Wildhammer Clan or Dragon Maw Clan, Guardians of Hyjal, Ramhaken, the Earthrun Ring and Terrazane, which I would recommend after you complete their quest chain as you would need 168 commendations to get from Hated to Exalted. Which isn't really worth since you want those pets put them when the Cataclysm Time Walking event in the event. The Earthrun Ring was like, No! Enough of dailies, no! So you can earn their reputation by only doing the...